Hi, this is a demonstration of Elastic Workplace. It helps us to view our content in a unified way from all the products or all the tools which we work on a regular basis. This is the page from Elastic which gives you more information about Workplace. Let's get started. So I have downloaded this particular binary and there are some prerequisites and there are some settings in Elasticsearch which has to be uh, modified and then you can just log in with uh, the default port localhost 3200 so I have already done these things and we'll see how Elasticsearch workplace looks like so when you start at the first you get the username and password the default username will be enterprise search and the password will be shown on the screen so you just copy it and save it somewhere so once we log in uh, we can add multiple sources from different tools so we have a set of tools which helps us to unify all the data so today I'll be taking an example of uh, Google Drive, Dropbox and Confluence. So let's get started. So I'm just clicking on Google Drive and uh, here we have the documentation on how to enable the APIs from Google Drive and how to make the necessary connections and how do we set up it in our environment. So what it needs is a client ID and a client secret which I'm, I have already created and I'm just using it now to show the demonstration. Save configuration, connect to Google Drive. So I am using my personal email id to do so just go ahead and allow all the permissions required for the elastic workplace and uh, currently there are zero documents synced if we just give some time the documents will be synced so let's add some more uh, content sources so the next content what i'll be adding would be the dropbox configure dropbox and the same way there are documentations on how to enable your api and uh, I'm just using the credentials which I have generated earlier. And every time we have to log in so that the synchronization of the workplace to the API happens through an account. So there are two sources which are added. I'm just adding the third one which is the confluence. So all these uh, base URLs, all the client key, secret key has been created earlier. This may take some time for you to generate and this is one time activity. Once these things are generated, I think you can seamlessly access and all the credentials would be saved need not do it every time since this is the first time we are doing it I'm just showing it manually just logging into Atlassian so now we have uh, three sources if you if you see there are 330 documents which are synchronized in Google Drive uh, Confluence will get synced and there is one from Dropbox 
so in a workplace we use different tools and it's it may so happen that we have to search some similar content in all the tools and this helps very much so next uh, we have groups where uh, we can give a particular access to a particular groups we can invite the users kind of an access management then uh, the same applies here creating a particular username password in the security settings which uh, helps you to allow to private connect to the private sources since I'm using everything in cloud now that doesn't apply and uh, here are the settings where uh, we have a, we can customize it according to our requirements and all the connectors so I can change all the configurations if I have to do so and let's look at our application search board once we come to the search page we can see all the contents from the connected sources here now we can search for the relevant uh, data of what we are looking so in every content sources I have put a test page where the content says some person is not able to log in so let's search for that so I have the keyword as destiny in all the searches and uh, we are able to see it from Google Drive that destiny unable to log in from Google Drive as well as we can see it from Confluence so these are some of the things which you can search maybe depending on the time depending on the relevance and any of the sources and all of the sources so currently elastic search workplace is in the beta version and uh, not recommended for production usage thanks for watching the video